So for this lesson, I will be discussing about uh, the definition of fractions and then I will show you examples on how to convert improper fractions to mixed form and convert a uh, mixed fraction to improper form. So what are fractions? Okay, so fractions are representations of even parts of a whole. So this uh, means that you have equal size shares or portion of one whole. So for example, you have three fourths. So three here is what we call as the numerator. And the numerator is the one that represents the number of parts that we have. And then you have four is your denominator, which represents the total parts in a whole. So for example, if you have um, a pie and then you divide this equally into four parts, so the four parts there would represent the denominator. And if for example, you will be eating one pie, okay, so what would be left, I mean, if you will eat one portion of the pie, one of the parts, so um, the portion that will be left there would be equal to three-fourths. Okay, so you can also use fractions for comparison. So, sabihin, nagko-compare tayo ng um, two different things. So, let me give you an example here. Okay, so let's say in a college class of 50 students, 29 are males and 21 are females. So, we can consider here 50. Okay, so 50 is your, um, the total number of students. And then, um, this one would represent the part. Okay, and then let's say we will express that into a fraction. The fraction of the class that are males. So 29 here would be the part that represents the number of the male students. And then 50 is the total parts. So you have out of 50 students. Now, what about if we will express um, the number of females in terms of a fraction? So in that case, we can have 21 over 50. So, 21 is your numerator and then 50 is your denominator. So, let's have another example. Let's say out of 1,000 ships, 11 ships get involved in a maritime accident every year. So, if we will consider this in terms of a fraction. So, we have 1,000 is the total and then the parts that we have um, that we are comparing to is the 11 ships that were involved in the maritime accident. So, we can write this as a fraction. So, you have 11 over 1,000. So, this is the fraction of ships that are involved in a maritime accident. Okay, so basically, we have three types of fractions. So, first, you have the proper fractions. So, this is one of the most common types of fractions that you encounter. So, here we say that the numerator is always less than the denominator. So, ibig sabihin, mas maliit yung number dun sa taas kaysa dun sa number sa baba. And ang value nito is always less than 1. So, pag kinonvert niya sa decimal, which I will be discussing um, in the next few uh, days, ang value niya ng fraction na to is always less than 1. Okay, so these are some examples. So, you have 3 fourths. So, you can see here the numerator is less than denominator. You have 17 over 20. So, the numerator is less than the denominator. And then, you have 5 over 9. So, the numerator 5 is less than the denominator, which is 9. Now, for improper fractions, here the numerator is always greater than the denominator. So, the equivalent value is always greater than 1. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung number sa taas kesa dun sa number sa baba. So, here are some examples. So, you have 9 over 7, you have 15 over 8, and you have 22 over 12. Now, mixed fractions, it's a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. So, the equivalent value is always le is always greater than 1. So, for example, here we have 3 and 1 eighths. So, if you notice, you have a whole number and then merong isang proper fraction. And then here you have 5 and 18 over 21 and you have 1 um, and 4 over 7. Okay, so this time let's consider this example. So, we will be doing um, conversions. So, what we have here is um, an improper fraction. Why do we say that it is improper? Because what we have here is, um, you have here a um, 
number, the numerator is greater than your denominator. Okay, so with that, we will convert that into a mixed form. So that means we have here one um, whole number and then one um, uh, proper fraction. So to do that, okay, so what you will do here is that you will divide the numerator 5 over the denominator of 2. Okay, so the answer would be what? It will be equal to 2. Diba? Kasi 2 times 2 is 4. So, meron kong remainder na 5. Ah, na 1. So, yung remainder doon, kasi 5 minus 4 equals 1. So, yung remainder na 1, yun yung ilalagay natin dito sa taas as the numerator of the improper fraction. And then, we will just simply copy the denominator, which is 2. So, you have 2 and 1 half. Let's have another example here. So, this one is another improper fraction. So, this is 14 over 3. Okay? So, we want to convert that into a mixed form. Okay? So, to do that, same procedure. So, we divide 14, okay, the numerator by the denominator of 3. So, the nearest answer would be 4. Okay? Kasi 4 times 3 is 12. So, ano yung remainder? So, we have 14 minus 12 will give you a remainder of Okay, so, yan yung lalagay natin sa numerator ng proper fraction. And then, we will simply copy the denominator, which is 3. So, therefore, the answer here is 4 and 2 thirds. Okay, so this time, let's consider this example. So, we have 2 and 3 fifths, which is an improper fraction. I mean, of mixed form. So, we will now convert this into an improper fraction. So, to do that, we will uh, multiply your denominator, which is 5, to the whole number, which is 2. So, makuha natin sa gudyan is 10. And then, after multiplying this 2, we will now add the product to the numerator. So, magiging 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3, we have 13. So, this one will be your numerator. And then, you will just simply have to copy the denominator, which is 5. So, therefore, 2 and 3 fifths is equal to 13 over 5. Okay, so for the next example, we have 5 and 2 sevenths, and we will convert this into improper fraction. Okay, so to do that, so first, we will multiply the denominator by the whole number so 5 times 7 will give you 35 and then we will add 35 to 2 so 35 plus 2 is 37 so the final answer here will be 37 is your denominator and i mean your numerator and then copy the denominator here which is 7 okay? so therefore the final answer is 37 over 7 Okay, so for this lesson, uh, after the lesson, you should be able to express a fraction into its lowest or simplest form. Okay, so let's consider this example. So we will reduce 2 over 10 into lowest terms. Okay, so how do we uh, say or when can we say that the fraction is already in the lowest terms? So lowest terms na siya kapag yung... Um, factors ng numerator and denominator is parehas ng prime numbers. Okay? So, therefore, in this case, yung 2 over 10, ang greatest common factor nila, ang tinatawag natin ng GCF, is 2. So, gagawin lang natin, i-divide lang natin parehas yung 2 at saka 10 ng 2. Yan. So, therefore, you have 2 divided by 2 gives you 1. And then, 10 divided by 2 gives you 5. And so, therefore, yung fraction na 2 over 10 is also equal to 1 fifths. Okay? So, again, since parehas prime numbers na yung factor ng numerator and denominator, that means this one is already called the fraction in its simplest form. So, let's have another example. So, this time you have 49 over 70. Okay, so in this example, uh, we will consider the GCF. So, yung common factor between 49 and 70 is 7. So, gagawin natin, i-divide lang natin parehas by uh, 7. So, 49 divided by 7 and 70 divided by 7. Okay, so 49 divided by 7 gives us 7. And then 70 divided by 7 gives us 10. 
Okay, so therefore, yung um, common factor between 7 and 10, uh, and 10, parehas na siyang, ano, ang common factor na lang nila is 1. So, parehas ng prime numbers yung 7 and 10. So, therefore, we can say that 7 over 10 is now the lowest term or the simplest form of 49 over 70. Okay, let's try another example. So, this time we have 33 over 121. So, the common factor between um, 33 and 121 is actually 11. So, we divide natin parehas by 11. Okay? So, 33 divided by 11 and um, 121 divided by 11. Okay, so in this case, we have 33 divided by 11 is 3. And then, 121 divided by 11 is 11. Okay? So, since ang common factor na lang ng 3 and 11 ay 1, at parehas na silang prime numbers, yung um, numerator at denominator, we can therefore say that 3 over 11 is the lowest term, or the simplest form of 33 and uh, 33 over 121. Okay, minsan may mga instances na hindi mo agad may isip kung ano yung GCF ng isang number. So, pag nangyari ito, pwede tayong mag-consider ng other options. Okay, so for example, pwede natin consider yung mga numbers na uh, 2, 3, 5, at saka 7. So, parang gagawin natin siyang continuous division hanggang sa makuha natin yung um, lowest terms niya. Okay, so let me go back here. So, meron tayong uh, 12 over 24. So, kung di mo agad maisip kung ano yung GCF niya, pwede mo gawin dito, divide mo siya continuously. So, ang gagamitin kong number is 2, kasi yan yung pinaka madaling maalala. So, for example, here we have uh, 12 divided by 2. Okay, so we have 6. And then, we have 24 divided by 2. We have 12. So, yung 6 over 12, uh, meron pa siyang common factor. So, dito mas madali na natin maisip. Ano? So, can easily see na 6 to. So, pwede natin silang i-divide parehas by 6. So, we have 1 over, so 12 divided by 6 is 2. 1 half. So, therefore, yung 12 over 24 is also equal to 1 half. So, 1 half yung kanyang lowest term. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong 2 times 6 is actually 12. So, therefore, ang GCF ng 12 and 24 is, ng 12 and 24 is 12. So, pwede natin itong i-divide. Kung naisip nyo agad ito, good for you. So, uh, 12 over 12 is 1. Okay, so that this one will give us uh, 1, no? And then divided by 2, or 1 over 2. So, parehas lang yung nakuha nating sagot. Whether una mong maisip kung ano talaga yung exact GCF niya or kahit mag-continuous division ka. Yun lang, pag-continuous division, of course, medyo mabagal bago mo makuha yung correct answer. Okay, let's consider another example. So, this time we have 240 over 300. So, in this example, um, usually mga shortcut to, pag nakakita kayo ng mga multiples of 10, pwede nyo na i-cancel yung mga 0. So, in this case, itong dalawang 0 na to, i-cancel ko na. Kasi 1 appearing in the numerator and 1 appearing in the denominator. So, pwede nyo lang tumagawa kung yung mga 0 is nasa dulo. So, kung yung 0 nakapagit na sa isang non-zero digit, hindi mo siya pwede gawin. So, dito lang siya sa dulo. So, therefore, ito, pwede rin natin isulat to as 24 over 30. So, let's consider yung um, continuous division. So, 24 and 30, uh, pwede natin siyang i-divide parehas sa, uh, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 3. So, kung 3 yan, so 24 divided by 3 is 8. And then, 30 divided by 3 is 10. So, again, hindi pa to lowest terms. So, di-divide natin siya parehas sa 2. Okay, so 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, meron tayong 4 fifths. So, itong 4 fifths, lowest terms na to kasi wala na silang um, common factor except for 1. So, parehas na silang prime numbers. So, kung babalikan natin to okay, actually itong 0 dito ka natin kinasal kasi ibig sabihin ito ang kanyang common factor is 10. And then this one naman, yung 3 times 2 actually gives you 6. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, itong 240 over 300, pag dinivide natin siya parehas by the GCF, which is uh, 10 times 6 is 60. 
Ayan. So, pag parehas natin sa nandini by, by 60, so you will get 240 divided by 60 gives you 4. And then 300 divided by 60 also gives you 5. Ayan. So, parehas lang. So, yung lowest terms natin of 4 fifths is also equal to 240 over 300.